Hello guys, Croft is here, today we'll be reviewing all 33 deleted scenes that were removed from Prometheus. As you probably know, the movie underwent numerous changes leading to an enormous amount of material being cut or rewritten, which includes early scripts, unused concepts and deleted scenes that amount to a staggering 33 in total. Unfortunately, in one interview Ridley Scott said that he's adamantly against releasing an alternate or extended cut of Prometheus. Therefore, to experience the complete version of the movie, we must turn to the Blu-ray edition. We'll cover every single removed sequence in chronological order, many of which are not even included in the Blu-ray edition and can only be found in extra materials. Some of them are a few minutes long such as the deleted engineer dialogue and the extended engineer fight scene with Dr. Shaw, however others are just short clips lasting a few seconds. But despite the abundance of material, I'll do my best to condense all of it in this 14 minute video. The first deleted scene, often referred to as the alternate opening, depicts the arrival of engineers on Earth. In the movie, we simply see the lone engineer standing in front of the waterfall. However, in this deleted scene, a group of engineers accompanies the sacrifice engineer to the edge. The elder gives him a cup containing the blood of the first deacon, a godlike creature that engineers worshipped. Thousands of years later, when Holloway and Dr. Shaw discover carvings in an ancient cave, before they enter the cave, there is a short deleted clip of Dr. Shaw smiling, and Holloway says, You're smiling. You're smiling. When the Prometheus ship is on the way to LV-223, an alternate scene depicts David crying while watching Lawrence of Arabia. Unlike the theatrical version where he just watches the movie, the deleted sequence reveals a more emotional David showing him shedding tears. While checking in on the Prometheus crew members, David also visits Wayland in cryosleep, which was removed from the movie. David enters Wayland's dream where the billionaire is relaxing on a yacht in the middle of the ocean, appearing as a younger version of himself. David informs Wayland that they're nearly arrived, which angers Wayland because David disturbed him before completing his objective. Early concepts portraying Wayland's yacht can be found on Blu-ray, but the production rejected the scene even before filming. Next, there is a deleted scene between Melbourne and Fifield. After awakening, everyone meets other crew members and Melbourne mentions that his fingers are still numb from cryosleep. And Fifield responds that nobody has ever been in cryosleep as long as they have. No one's been out that long before. Then, just before the crew meets Wayland's holographic projection, there is a deleted scene with Yannick decorating the Christmas tree. Vickers tells him to join the rest of the crew for the presentation, but Yannick insists that his only job is to operate the ship, so he doesn't need to know anything about the mission. Christmas is another reference to Jesus Christ in this movie that was removed, and there is another deleted segment of Yannick singing Ho 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 that only appears in some trailers. Right before the briefing, there is a short deleted clip of Shaw saying they're going to think we're crazy and Holloway responds, yeah, they're not, if you keep it scientific. When Holloway shows the same star formation depicted in many locations on Earth, there is another deleted clip of Fifield saying it's a map, to which Shaw responds, not a map, an invitation. Not a map, an invitation. After the briefing, there is a short deleted segment of Shaw being upset at Holloway for not backing her up during the presentation, when Fifield and other crew members were skeptical of Shaw's research. The next deleted sequence was the landing on LV-223. Originally, the planet was supposed to be covered with volcanoes, so the Prometheus ship had to struggle and maneuver around them to land safely. On top of that, the landing scene was originally followed by another deleted line of Yannick saying that Prometheus has landed. The next deleted scene occurs in the pyramid and showcases Melbourne making an unsettling discovery of a small worm in the black liquid, which is followed by David calling it our first alien. Our first alien. This removed scene kind of justifies Melbourne's unwavering curiosity, leading him to a horrifying fate. Once the group makes their way to the center of the pyramid, Holloway removes his helmet and takes a deep breath, which is followed by a deleted line, the sweetest air I've ever tasted. That is the sweetest air I've ever tasted. 
The next deleted clip is of the sacrificial cup in the ampule room. Initially, instead of the green crystal, there was the sacrificial cup, the same one that we saw at the beginning of Prometheus. However, in the later stages of production, it was replaced with the green crystal, because the movie decided not to explore the engineer's storyline. As I mentioned before, the cup contains the blood of the first deacon, a godlike creature that is portrayed on the mural. The deacon appears to be in the crucifix form, indicating that engineers worship this creature. Removing the connection between this creature and the beginning of the movie led to lots of confusion and probably happened because the production decided to change the course of the movie last minute. In the same room with the giant head, when David examines the black goo urn, there is a short deleted clip of him having an evil smile after he touches the black goo. The next deleted scene is of Melbourne and Fifield when they separate from the group in the pyramid. Melbourne, being a biologist, discovers a snake skin that was presumably shed from a hammerpeed. Then, when the crew returns to the ship after exploring the pyramid, there is another scene that was removed. Dr. Shaw talks about an African myth describing the creation of the world. A woman in Africa told me the story of how the world came to be. And then gives a small speech that they have finally discovered extraterrestrial life, proving that they are not alone in the universe. However, Holloway interrupts her, saying that all they have found are creatures that are already dead. When Holloway and Shaw are back in their room, there is a deleted or alternate sequence of them arguing. Holloway enters the room when Shaw is watching the replay of the engineer holograms. Shaw speculates about what caused the engineer's head to explode and suggests that there might have been a virus that wiped out all engineers. Holloway appears to be drunk and replies that he doesn't really care. He then reveals that Shaw's mother died in childbirth and says that the only reason Shaw came to this planet is to ask God why he took her mother and father, which angers Shaw and she slaps Charlie in the face. In addition to Shaw's infertility, her mother's death during childbirth deepens the complexity of her character. And this deleted scene adds even more weight to the revelation by David later in the movie that Shaw is carrying an alien embryo. The next day in the morning there is a deleted moment of Holloway saying that he might be hangover when he looks in the mirror and realizes that he's not feeling well. When David goes alone in the pyramid to find the engineer, there is a deleted scene of him examining one of the space jockey suits, followed by another deleted scene of Vickers contacting him via radio and asking if he has located the objective. Have you located your objective, David? David replies that he has and that now it's time to wake Wayland up. When the crew returns from the pyramid, there is a short deleted clip of Vickers saying changing into what, once she hears that Holloway has been infected and is in the process of mutating. There is also an alternate scene of Fifield's mutations that make him look more like a xenomorph. In the alternate version of the movie, this scene occurred later in the film, right before Wayland went to see the engineer. In this version, Shaw operated the vehicle and drove over Fifield, and there are a few shots of that in early Prometheus trailers. The next deleted scene is quite long and showcases Yannick talking with Vickers, who appears to be traumatized by killing Holloway. There's an interesting moment of Yannick playing piano, which mimics the engineer who had to play the flute to operate the ship. Yannick tells Vickers that he once worked at a military base where there was a virus outbreak, which prompted the destruction of the base with all the infected personnel. He managed to escape but saw all the scientists trapped inside, doomed to die. Yannick tells Vickers that the same thing might have happened to these engineers, implying that there was a virus outbreak that caused the extinction of the engineer race. Their conversation is interrupted by David, who detected some seismic and thermal activity about a kilometer away. When Yannick asks Vickers what they're talking about, David replies, it's not your concern. This deleted scene might have been helpful in explaining why Yannick decided to sacrifice himself to destroy the engineer's ship, given the fact that he already witnessed another outbreak on Earth. Later in the movie, when Shaw successfully removes the trilobite from her body, there is a deleted scene of her praying in front of the mirror. This scene appeared in trailers, but was removed from the movie. Moments later, there is a short deleted clip of David giving Wayland a pill after he awakens. 
Then the next deleted scene is of Vickers talking to Wayland right before he leaves to meet the engineer. Wayland tells Vickers that the last time they spoke she said that he's just a silly old fool chasing fairy tales. Vickers apologizes to Wayland and shows more of her human side. Then Vickers tells him that she believes that he'll die if he goes to meet the engineer, to which Wayland responds that she should not have such a negative outlook. Then Vickers says that maybe you should look at the thing squealing next door and tell me how positive you feel, referring to the trilobite. The scene ends with Vickers saying that she used to respect him but now he's just a scared old man. Then there is a short deleted scene of Shaw and Yannick having a conversation in her room. At some point Shaw says, I came here for answers and I would rather die than leave without them. The next deleted scene is the engineer speaks scene, which is probably the most important scene in the movie that was unfortunately deleted. In the theatrical version, the engineer doesn't say a word after awakening. However, in the deleted scene, there's an entire dialogue between Wayland, the engineer, and David. There is also an extended version of this dialogue in the early script that is way longer than in the deleted scene. It spans multiple pages and is completely translated, revealing the engineer's intentions and the reasons why they hated humanity. The next deleted segment is pretty short and showcases the engineer looking at the space jockey chair before merging with it. Another deleted line occurs right before Prometheus crashes into the juggernaut. Before ejecting herself in the emergency capsule, Vickers tells Yannick, you were a terrible late by the way. Then, after the juggernaut crash, there is a deleted sequence of the engineer escaping the ship and chasing Shaw amongst the wreckage of Prometheus. Then there is an extended fight scene between the engineer and Dr. Shaw that is way longer than in the theatrical version. In that scene, the engineer enters the Vickers module and explores the music recordings and books that humanity has created. However, even after examining human arts, the engineer still proceeds to try to kill Shaw, seemingly disregarding the good side of human civilization. There is a long physical fight between Dr. Shaw and the engineer, which ends with the overgrown trilobite grabbing the engineer by his neck. Interestingly, the engineer attempts to crush Shaw's head, suggesting that it might be his preferred method of dealing with humans, considering that he tore David's head off and inflicted a deadly head trauma to Wayland. Another curious observation is that the trilobite that is technically Shaw's offspring saves her from the engineer, like a son who protects his mother in a weird way. The last deleted scene is the alternate ending in which Shaw finds David's head and seems to be way more hostile towards him than in the theatrical version. She asks David where the engineer came from and David says that there is no direct translation, but various human cultures had a word similar to it, paradise. David asks her why she wants to go to the engineer homeworld. Shaw replies, they created us and then they tried to kill us, they changed their minds, I deserve to know why. David asks her, does it matter why they changed their minds? Yes, it does. Then David says, I don't understand why, to which Shaw replies, I guess it's because I'm a human and you're a freaking robot. Then she brutally grabs him by the hair and shoves his head in the bag. Shaw then tells David to fly one of the ships to the Paradise Planet and they drive to another juggernaut on a buggy. Thank you guys for watching, as you can see there are many deleted scenes that should have been included in the movie. And that's not even mentioning early and alternate scripts that would have made the movie completely different in many ways. For example, like the John Spain script Alien Engineers, which in my opinion would have made a way better movie than Prometheus. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more alien content. My name is Croft and I'll see you in the next video.